We ignored the warnings and now it is too late. Hundreds of top scientists released a devastating report on August 9, 2021 on the danger that human-caused climate change poses to the world and its people. Calling it code red for humanity, the landmark report was released in Geneva, Switzerland by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Here are key takeaways from the UN Climate Panel's report. Humans are to blame. Full stop. The IPCC used its strongest terms yet to assert that humans are causing climate change with the first line of its report summary reading it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere ocean and land the stark language marked a shift from previous IPCC reports which had said it was extremely likely that industrial activity was to blame temperatures will keep rising The report describes possible futures depending on how dramatically the world cuts emissions. But even the severest of cuts are unlikely to prevent global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial temperatures. Without immediate steep emission cuts, though, average temperatures could cruise past 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. The scientists also looked at events considered less likely but still possible. and they could not rule out big impacts from so-called tipping points such as the loss of arctic ice or the dieback of forests weather is getting extreme weather extremes once considered rare or unprecedented are becoming more common a trend that will continue even if the world limits global warming to 1.5 degrees celsius severe heat waves that happened only once every 50 years are now happening roughly once a decade tropical cyclones are getting stronger most land areas are seeing more rain or snowfall in a year severe droughts are happening 1.7 times as often and fire seasons are getting longer and more intense scientific advances in the last decade are also helping scientists detect whether climate change caused or worsened specific weather events arctic summers could soon be free of ice Summertime sea ice atop the Arctic Ocean will vanish entirely at least once by 2050 under the IPCC's most optimistic scenario. The region is the fastest warming area of the globe, warming at least twice as fast as the global average. While Arctic sea ice levels vary throughout the year, the average lows during summer have been decreasing since the 1970s and are now at their lowest levels in a thousand years. This melting creates a feedback loop with reflective ice giving way to darker water that absorbs solar radiation causing even more warming. Seas will rise no matter what. Sea levels are sure to keep rising for hundreds or thousands of years. Even if global warming were halted at 1.5 degrees Celsius, the average sea level would rise about 2 to 3 meters or maybe more. Sea level rise has picked up speed as polar ice sheets melt and warming ocean water expands. Already, associated flooding has nearly doubled in many coastal areas since the 1960s, with once in a century coastal surge set to occur once a year by 2100. Scientists could not rule out extreme rises of more than 15 meters by 2300 if tipping points trigger runaway warming. Running out of time. Meeting the Paris Agreement goal of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius will require sticking to a carbon budget, a term describing how much additional carbon can be pumped into the atmosphere before that goal is likely out of reach. The world is now on track to use up that budget in about a decade. With 2.4 trillion tons of climate warming CO2 added to the atmosphere since the mid 1800s, the average global temperature has risen by 1.1 degrees Celsius. That leaves 400 billion tons more that can be added before the carbon budget is blown. Global emissions currently total a little more than 40 billion tons a year.